controversial move has some Simi Valley parents rethinking their Halloween plans. That city council just overturned a law aimed at protecting children from sexual predators. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live in Simi Valley with details. Jasmine. Well, Jeff, uh, according to Megan's Law website, there are more than 100 registered sex offenders living here in the Simi Valley. And when Halloween rolls around in a few weeks, they're going to have more freedom. That's because a city law is no longer active. It was killed last night, meaning it's not going to keep trick or treaters away from their home. So let's take you to the Simi Valley City Council Chambers. This is where they repealed and overturned that 2012 ordinance that targeted registered sex offenders there from the Megan's Law website. Uh, the law had stated that they could not answer their doors to trick or treaters, could not decorate the outside of their homes, and they were required to turn off any outdoor lighting from 5 p.m. to midnight on Halloween. But over the years, two federal lawsuits were filed calling the rules unconstitutional and not fair to innocent families members living at the same address who may want to celebrate Halloween. The city says since that law was passed, they have not enforced it. They've just sent out reminders. Uh, not to mention sex offenders still on parole have to abide by similar state Halloween parole conditions and those compliance checks. Parents who were at the meeting last night say they will be more vigilant though here on Halloween. A little worrisome. Yeah, I try to stay around where, uh, like my neighborhood, where I know a lot of the people. I'm obviously concerned about the children of my community. Well, the latest lawsuit that was just filed last month by a Simi Valley family will be dismissed. And Jeff and Sharon, uh, police meantime, now have to send out notices to all those registered sex offenders, letting them know that this law has been repealed.